Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a Spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we activated the beacon on Eden Prime and received a strange vision and all sorts of stuff, and that's why we started this episode with a five-minute cutscene. It was odd, but it was just what happened. We're going to be continuing this by basically... After each major mission, you can chat with your squad mates about the mission, so let's go ahead and do that with Caden. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. 
Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right, the Blitz. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. And it's just, I like those little things, it's basically, not only does it kind of give you a bit of kind of background on the characters and stuff like that, but also, it's a bit of a kind of debrief after the mission that's quite nice. Anyway, if we come over here, there's this thing, Shepard's Locker. If we use it, get some free items. The shotgun and the assault rifle aren't particularly useful for me, but the, uh, hammer, the sniper rifle, is, so I'm going to equip that at some point. Now, I'm going to introduce an interesting con- I say interesting, a regular concept in Mass Effect. Elevators. This game uses elevator rides to disguise loading times. And they're bad. Observe. Look how slowly this elevator moves. It's ridiculous, because it's timed for the kind of loading speed, but... This shouldn't even need to be an elevator. If it's going this slowly over this little distance, this should be a floor. Like, a floor floor? I meant stairs. Stairs is what I meant. But no, in future, like, some of the... When you've got squad mates with you, the elevator rides, like, have conversations on, and I'll show that, but otherwise I'll kind of speed through them in the future, because they are a ridiculous concept. Anyway, if you go over here, one little nice thing over here is... Come all the way to the corner here, we see Ashley's locker and Caden's locker. When you're on the Normandy, clearly, like, you don't have them on your squad. Like, if I go into squad, it's only me there, because they're not physically with me at the moment. But these you can kind of use to equip them while you're on the Normandy. In addition to that, there's also this bloke, if we come over here, there's the Alliance Requisition Officer, who's basically a shop. Shops are always marked, if you look in the bottom right radar, shops are marked as green squares. And if we talk to this guy... Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. So like he was mentioning, at various points throughout the game, you'll be able to purchase licenses, which kind of increase the art stuff he's got access to. At the moment, he's only really got access to this Hanukkah gear. But I'm going to buy a grenade upgrade, because that gives me an extra grenade, and this gives me an extra medigel. Nice to have. Uh, I'm just going to go and like sell some stuff and sort out some equipment, and I'll be back in a sec. It's also worth pointing out that when you're in a kind of shop, you can press X to bring up like a comparison between the weapon or armor you're looking at and what you actually have equipped on Shepard, so you can see there. Surprisingly enough, the Avenger 3, better than the Avenger 1, but also outside of my price range. Just did a bit of an equipment reshuffle for myself and for everyone else. I'll kind of go through that once we're kind of like in a position where we'll actually be using like weapons and armor, but to be honest, the rest of this episode, at least in the episodes beyond that, we're not going to be doing much combat, so it's kind of not no point in me going through it here. Anyway, if we speed through this elevator ride... Ridiculous, I know. If we come over kind of near where Caden was, then we will see... Ashley, who has kind of essentially joined our crew after Eden Prime, so let's have a little chat with her. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. 
comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. Thanks, Williams. I needed to hear that. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine. Thanks, Commander. So we did actually get two renegade points there for the kind of saying that the mission failed thing. But honestly, though I've said I'm gonna go for a generally kind of like, um, Paragon feel with my Shepard, I don't want to go completely like, pure entirely only say paragon things i'd rather cre essentially create a kind of more believable character and i kind of like that idea of regret there that kind of shepherd's got and little things like that i don't like i don't want to just have a completely one-dimensional i am a war hero and that's all i am so if i make any kind of what might seem like slightly out of character decisions that's why it is anyway right at the beginning of the episode we are told by admiral ah, come out Ooh, captain anderson to come up and see dope joker so let's do that Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Ashley touches on a brilliant point here of this is one of the most frustrating parts of the games and that's not a criticism. I'm saying they capture that perfectly. 
you'll see in the kind of rest of this episode in the coming few episodes, the kind of having to get through bureaucracy and all that kind of crap. It's so frustrating because it's so well done. Oh, I love it. We're at the Citadel now, well, as you may have noticed from that awesome scene where we kind of fly in and see it. This is basically a massive space station of Prothean construction that serves as kind of basically the galactic capital, which is pretty cool. We're free to explore much of this, but I'll be doing that in the next few episodes for now. Wow, first, if we come over here, there is a computer console with decryption on it. So let's do that. This should be straightforward of X, Y, Y. And get a little thing. Alliance patrol report. Captain Hendrickson record, record, blah, reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Rogue cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we send a recon team? So essentially, you just interrupt a transmission there, but... Look at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a thing happening. That's a little thing I'm going to do basically whenever there's a side quest is, whenever we get a side quest, that'll appear, basically which will tell you what the name of the side quest is, what the objectives are, and where it is. Eventually we'll be able to kind of go out and do those, not at the moment though because we've got to do all the crap here. But, I just thought I'd kind of, that, since that one was literally right there, thought we'd kind of point that out. Anyway, the Citadel is pretty big. Um, we're on the Presidium Ring at the moment, which when you kind of came in, you saw it kind of had the five or six arms and then the kind of ring in the center. We're in the ring and trying to get to the top of the, the tower. You can walk all of this. It's all technically walkable, but it has a lot of annoying elevators, which I've already bitched about. The easiest way to get around is this thing, Citadel Rapid Transport. Whenever you, act whenever you activate one of these, you kind of then create a warp point that you can walk back to from other Citadel Rapid Transit locations. At the moment, the only one we have unlocked is the Citadel Tower, so let's warp over there. You have arrived at the Citadel Tower. Thank you, game. Anyway, if we come up here. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin. Head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. So, that's not a brilliant sign that he's implying that the CSEC investigation into Saren, which they've somehow done already, that was pretty damn quick of them, um, hasn't turned up much, but mostly because that's all classified. So, if we kind of come up here, this is the main kind of, this is basically the center of the tower I was talking about earlier. And so if we just come right to the top, this is where the kind of the council holds sessions. The council, which notably does not include humans, there's only Turians, Asari, and Salarians. And they're annoying, but anyway. The hearing's already started, come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. 
Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned.